Rangers can't use their concentration spells because they have to use Hunter's Mark. This is a power quote, a general thing you will see on the internet. This belief has been around for years and it's time to kill it off for good so we can move on. The truth is it's not a good spell to begin with because heavily relying on this spell and this one spell alone is killing your enjoyment of a really fun and powerful class that basically has the druid spell list. Truth be told, it gets worse with mathematics. You get more out of favored foe in burst damage than Hunter's Mark. Now, I've probably made a lot of people upset or curious. I've lobbed a few grenades into the ring already. Welcome to Pack Tactics. Hunter's Mark, concentration, bonus action, 90 foot range, 1 hour duration. You deal an extra 1d6 damage to the target whenever you hit it with a weapon attack. Everyone knows this, so with extra attack it's potentially 2d6 that round. Now, 1d6, the average is 3.5 if it's a 100% chance to hit. This is not realistic. 100% isn't possible because you have to hit the creature. You need a more practical perspective to the table itself. A level 2 ranger with 16 dexterity versus a creature with 14 AC. The chance to hit is 70%. The ranger has archery, so the average of that, Hunter's Mark alone, then becomes 2.45 damage with a bonus action set up and concentrating. Is this good additional damage? No, but it's some damage, I guess. With extra attack, it's 4.9 average. It's still not impressive. We get more consistent use out of just making 10 good berries for the team than casting this spell. On top of that, we have second level spells to cast. To continue, let's say this ranger has crossbow expert and he's got the hand crossbow. That's 1d6 plus 3 bonus action to attack again. You can already see it's a better use out of a bonus action. It doesn't cost you a slot or concentration at all and it's a good investment of a feat. Now, does Hunter's Mark complement Crossbow Expert? No, you lose DPR. It takes two rounds to make up for lost DPR. Due to setting up the spell, the chances are high the target will die by then, especially when focused firing. Once the target is dead, you have to move the mark to the next target, repeating the loss in DPR. You have to remember, fights are usually four to six rounds. For the sake of math to prove it, here it is. This is the first round of combat. We have two second level Vooman Rangers, statted 16 dexterity and equipped exactly the same. But they're using their bonus action differently. One is casting Hunter's Mark, the other is attacking with Crossbow Experts. They are fighting a creature with 14 AC. As you can see, this is the loss in DPR due to the setup. Anyways, here is a second round, if the target still lives. Now, this time, the Hunter's Mark guy uses his bonus action to shoot again. You make up for the loss, finally, as I said. Now, here's a kicker. I said favorite foe is better in burst damage. Damage now is better than damage later. This is a free action, but also concentration setup. All you have to do is hit the creature, and then announce you use this. This feature can be used a number of times equal to your proficiency bonus, so it's not even using your slots. It's 1d4 damage applied only to once per turn. It scales eventually, but for this video, we will ignore the math for scaling and only use 1d4 to prove an example. The separate ammo and free action should be telling. The advantage Hunter's Mark has over Favorite Foe is you can move the mark once the target is dead, and it lasts longer, but it doesn't matter in the long run. You will always lose DPR in the first round. Sometimes you will never make up for the lost DPR at all because the targets are dying faster than expected, so you end up wasting a slot completely. That should be a genuine concern. Anyways, here's the first round, and here's the second. Simply just getting crossbow expert anyways in your progression makes Hunter's Mark irrelevant with extra attack. I show that in my Gloomstalker video. That's really why I decided to pick up Sharpshooter at first level to show what happens later on. What I made in that video is a strong build. However, if I were to grab Crossbow Expert at first level and never picked up Hunter's Mark, the build would have been so much stronger. 
Moving on, let's compare level 5 rangers, a 16 dexterity crossbow expert sharpshooter using favored foe versus a 18 dexterity longbow sharpshooter using hunter's mark. Which one performs better? The crossbow guy performs better for cheaper resources as you can see. Shout out to Quetzalcoatlus for helping me with the math. More cobalt! I don't want to use a hand crossbow, I want to use a bow. That's fine, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, it's your character, but keep in mind, flavor is free, so you can flavor it into a bow. But Kobold, what should I be casting for my first level spells then? Entangle, Fog Cloud, Goodberry, especially Goodberry. You have the best healing spell in the game, and you can juggle it. If you look at the Druid list and compare it to Ranger, you will notice they are very similar. Druids don't even get Hunter's Mark. But everyone agrees that the druid list is fantastic. To say the ranger list is bad and then believe the druid list is good is a contradiction. Um, so I should never cast Hunter's Mark. Damage solves, I've already said that, so there's use for it. If you have nothing to do with your bonus action, the Hunter's Mark can be justified, but it's not exactly good. Would you say Hex is good? You know the Warlock baseline uses Hex, right? That build is considered passable. It's not a good build at all. In reality, that build can do so much more due to the spells like cast Hypnotic Pattern left and right, but that's not how we look at it. So, with that perspective, especially Especially at higher levels, you should be looking at better things like conjure animals and plant growth. Do I cast this? I do sometimes with my kobolds, but it's very rare. Sometimes I don't prepare it at all, and I'm playing three different rangers every week at the time of this recording. Due to me getting consistent pack tactics, it's 88% to hit usually, and then the DPR is 3.08. However, when I'm using Sharpshooter, it's 64% to hit. That is 2.24 DPR. The Sharpshooter with advantage really does majority of the job, so an extra 2.24 is really nothing. I already surpassed the baseline by a lot without it, so I'm happy. I can cast different things. The point I really want you to get out of this is don't rely heavily on it when you have better options. The mark being quote unquote mandatory is false, and this is my evidence. So experiment, cast Entangle, Goodberry, Fog Cloud, cast different spells and have fun playing a ranger. One time I bribed a Cyclops with good berries for he demanded a toll for food so I gave him 10 good berries and he ran off. We basically surpassed a difficult encounter and no one got hurt. There was no role for initiative, that's the best outcome you can have in the game. A lot of the times I see wolves and we destroy them with fog cloud. Also, Enemies being huddled together in groups. I cast Entangle and get two or maybe three people. Maybe even one. That guy is stuck so he can't hurt us for a while. And we get advantage against him. His DPR is zero. Or is swinging with disadvantage while our collective DPR is more than tripled compared to Hunter's Mark. These are big moves compared to this silly 1d6. Throw it away. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye!